One of the special objects in TrueSpace is called a standalone deformation object, in this case the pipe. When we bring it up, we're going to right click and drag up to add additional floors or vertical selections uh, along the length of the cylinder. You have to do this before any manipulations because after you begin to manipulate, you cannot alter the number of floors. We'll move this object up and change our view a bit. Now we'll bring in a couple of pre-made objects. We have a bottle and a funnel. We'll set the funnel in place. And then we will select our deformation pipe. And using the scale tool, we will scale the diameter to approximately that of the top of the funnel and the height to go from the top of the funnel to the bottom of the bottle. The pop-up toolbar that comes with our deformation object in this example is already selected. Uh, we've already selected to work simply on the z-axis separations and we've been able to scale and one by one we're going to go through and scale down each level to approximately match that of the interior of our funnel and then as we move down also to match the interior of our bottle. All these things can be changed again at a later time. In fact these movements can be keyframed. We are manipulating strictly along the z-axis but there are other ways to work on y and z-axis uh, separation levels. It only takes a few moments to set this up. We've got it in place. That looks real good. Now let's uh, let's bring in our old pal Groover. He's a good sport and he'll go for this type of thing without too many complaints. We'll position Groover over the top of our funnel and go for about 85 frames. We will keyframe him to lower down to where he's inside the bottle, pretty much. And you'll notice that, of course, Groover's way too wide or too big to actually go down through the funnel. But that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to take care of. Let's make a few final adjustments. And in order to, for clarity, we'll move the funnel down out of the way just a little bit, just for a moment. We'll select Groover. And then in the deformation group, we will select Start Deforming by Standalone Deformation Object. We'll click on it with the glue bottle to select it. And then reposition our funnel. And now let's watch what happens. Keep in mind also that Groover is not a one-piece object, but is a hierarchy object glued up of many smaller parts. But TrueSpace doesn't mind. It takes all these objects, puts it together, and here we have bottled good stuff. It doesn't always have to contain alcohol.